I don't know why I feel more comfortable talking about this on YouTube than on TikTok because I feel like on TikTok there's too damn many opinions. Good morning guys. It is currently 7 a.m. here in Hawaii Ine, and I am so tired. I woke up today at 6.30 because there's <clears throat> a couple of things that I need to do before 11 a.m., which is when we'll be leaving to take Erica to her hair appointment. She's dyeing her hair red today. Right now, I'm just gonna go do my makeup. I wanna do a cool time lapse, but this camera doesn't have enough battery life for that, and I kind of wanna take you guys out today, so I'm, I'm just gonna turn it off. Oh my gosh, I forgot to bring my camera, so we're back to iPhone quality. But look, my hair and makeup is done. This is my outfit, and it's giving tourist, but I like it. Anyhow, I'm here at the mall. I just dropped off Erica at her hair appointment. I think I'm gonna get food. I'm kind of hungry. I don't know what else to do here, though. So we'll see. Okay, guys, I'm trying on this corset. I think it's really cute. But the only thing is, it almost looks like I'm naked. Also, it's $90, 9 dollars so I'm not gonna buy it. Uh, I don't know if this bra fits me or not. And I'm too scared to ask. Is it weird that I'm showing you guys the bras I'm trying on? I don't know. I'm thinking it's like a swimsuit. Don't be gross about it, it's a swimsuit. You're the weird one. I'm going to the Crocs store now because I just bought Crocs. I forgot, I ordered them online. They're on sale online. But I wanna get giblets for my Crocs. So I wanna see what kind of giblets they have. Crocs. I got giblets at the Crocs store. I'll do a haul when I get back to the car. I'm eating three and corn dogs. I decided that today is my date for myself. These are so good, but they always hurt my stomach. Filming while being alone is so awkward. We just picked up Erica. Dun da da da! Red hair! It looks so cool and so hip and so damn trendy. Oh, Erica, I bought giblets at Crocs. Giblets? Or oh, is that not what it's called? We're back to the high quality camera. I'm so bad at remembering to bring this camera out. But it's the next day. I just got my nails done. They're sparkly. But I just want to do a quick haul of everything that I bought them all. The first thing that I got is I got two bras from Victoria's Secret. I'm not crazy about like the color or anything. It's like purple and has like glittery stuff on it. But I really like these unlined like lace type beat bras because otherwise like when bras have too much padding then I don't like how big it makes my boobs to be blunt. So yeah, this one's on sale for like 25. Okay, then the next bra I got, I got too lazy to try it on. I picked it up because I thought it was really pretty. I really like this floral detailing. However, what I didn't realize is it has like this thing. Do you see this? Like these straps. And so if I were to wear like a tank top or something, these straps would show like these little extra straps. And I don't know how I feel about that. Next, I got giblets. I always forget what they're the real word. I like to call them giblets. I got a C O R N corn. And then on my other foot, I got like a little orange because it's fruit. A watermelon, of course. A bucket of chicken. Even though I don't really eat chicken, I thought food would be cute. Oh, and then a donut, just because also I thought the donut was cute. So yeah, those are my giblets, and I'm very excited about it. Oh, also I went to Target and I got these. Happy Easter. Oh, and then I went to Don Quixote to check out these socks that I bought. Beer gold. <laughs> this was just funny. And then these. They're socks with lips on them. Hi guys. And then I got a bunch of Asian snacks, which I'm gonna do a haul of these on TikTok. <laughs> It is now the evening and we need to pack for Coachella! So this is out. This is gonna be my first time going to Coachella ever. I'm so excited. YouTube Shorts is sending me, so thank you YouTube Shorts. But they're not only sending me, they're also sending my very best friend, Dasha. Erica also won't be going just because I know you guys are gonna ask. Um, she has the BTS concert and also you have to be 21 plus for some reason. Well, I think I know the reason. I leave literally tomorrow, so I need to pack all of this stuff. Also, shout out to YouTube Shorts for sponsoring this video. And YouTube Shorts is holding a sweepstakes. If you'd like to enter to win Coachella tickets for the rest of your life, yes, life, go on YouTube. You're already on YouTube, perfect. Next, make a short. That button in the middle. Yeah, click on that. And make a YouTube short saying who your Coachella dream plus one would be. And then make sure to hashtag it. Hashtag YouTube Coachella sweepstakes. I have three outfits picked out for the main days of Coachella. And I won't show you guys those because I kind of want to surprise you. But I do have... Okay, so I'm confused. So within Coachella, there's also a bunch of like random parties that go on during Coachella. Like there's a neon party and like Revolve Fest and stuff. And so I, I guess I need outfits for that. I don't even know what I'm going to wear to those. So anyway, I just have a bunch of random clothes that I'm going to be packing on top of my pre-picked out outfit. 
it. The first thing that I'm going to pack is this dress. I got it from ASOS. It's just pink and I feel like it would match my hair. Is this neon? I'll probably wear this to the neon party and just tell myself it's neon. Okay, I will spoil my shoes. I gotta show it to you guys. This is my first pair of shoes. It's like a metallic silver cowboy boot. Actually, Bretman the Baddest Rock, I sent him my outfits and he told me to, to get silver cowboy boots. So I said, well, if Bretman says so, then I got them. And then I got this. Look at this heel. And I think I'm gonna get really hot. So hopefully I'm okay in the desert <laughs> because I also have a third boot for the third day and this one's also ridiculous. It's giving band-aid. But yeah, those are my three shoes. I won't be bringing this to Coachella, but I do want to show you guys. I'm so excited to take Instagram pictures in this. It's a phone bag. Hello. Another random accessory is I have this cowboy hat. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it, but it's a fun option to have. I heard Coachella, you need hats though because it's so hot that hats are good. And then I also have this. I feel like everyone's gonna be wearing cowboy hats though, but I've never claimed to be an individual. I still don't even know what I'm gonna do for my hair and makeup, but I have these bedazzles that I'm gonna pack. Also guys, brief intermission here, I'm sad. Basically, there was a boy, but now there's not. So I think Coachella will be good. It'll help me get my mind off of things. What's next? I got more random accessories. Anyhow, all good. It was a mutual decision, but I think it's just hard because it's like, at the end of the day, that person is like still your friend, you know? And so it's like, you have to lose a friend and that's like the sad part. Oh, that's, yeah. I'm sorry for bringing that up. This necklace is broken, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know, but I'm gonna bring it. When I think of Coachella, I think of like Vanessa Hudgens. I don't know if you guys remember, like I remember always seeing her on Twitter. Like she was like the Coachella queen. And so I honestly never expected myself to go to Coachella. And I, that's why I haven't really talked about it on like TikTok or anything because I feel, I don't know how to explain it. Like I'm so grateful to go and I feel so like, yay. But also at the same time, it's just like, it's almost like an out of body experience. Like I'm like, whoa. Best way to describe it. I got another weird necklace. I'm also kind of stressed because I've been having this issue lately, honestly, where I just get overstressed over everything. How do you, how do we feel about this? Oh, this is kind of cute. I'll probably wear this with this dress because it has like the sparkles and sparkles. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. When I'm stressed, I will just like go on my phone and like consume no media whatsoever. These are leggings. I don't think I'm gonna take them out though because I don't want them to rip. They have heart gems in them. I bought two just in case they rip. I don't even know if I'm gonna wear these. I might wear that with the pink dress. I'm gonna wear everything with the pink dress. And I also got fluffy socks. Anyway, I have this problem where whenever I'm feeling stressed, like I won't allow myself to do something like fun, like watch like a YouTube video or like watch Netflix because then I'm like committing to not doing whatever task I need to do, if that makes sense. So then instead, I just spend hours doing literally nothing on my phone, just like da -da 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 -da, like switching between apps. Like I'll go on like Instagram for like 20 seconds and then TikTok for maybe like 60 seconds and then keep switching between apps like Twitter, da -da 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 just like trying to distract my brain from all of the stress and then I end up doing that thing. But I should get a hobby because my hobby right now is being um, nervous. I also got these, I don't know if I'm gonna wear these. These are like, you put them over your boots. Censor my foot, censor my foot. I'll bring them because they're kind of fun. Back to me talking about being sad because I'm still sad. I have this problem where I will like underplay my emotions, particularly honestly in relationships. And the reason for that is because I have a lot of trust issues. I will like refuse to t say that I like someone even like to my own self, just because if I like someone, I'm then vulnerable. But now that it's over, it's just like, damn. I did like you. Wait, how do we like these sunglasses? I think they're kind of cool. So yeah, I'm low key, I'm really sad about it. But I'll be okay. Everybody was like, girl, have you packed for Coachella yet? And I was like, no, and they're like, girl, how have you not started? I started three days ago. I'm like, what are you packing? Like, I feel like I don't have that much stuff. But watch, I'm gonna forget everything. Maybe I'll pack makeup. Whoa, you can see like my tripod and my water bottle and stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. I have like this giant makeup bag that I got from Victoria's Secret like years ago. It's really good, cause it's really, giant okay so this is what i'm trying to decide should i get a rebound i don't really want to get a rebound because i don't want to use anyone like i would let them know they're being used that's i've done that in the past but the only problem with letting someone know that they're being used is it still doesn't work it still always ends up bad and i'm also too lazy for that like no offense i'm too busy <laughs> but actually i kind of am i'm too busy scrolling on my phone Going back and forth between apps. Okay, I don't have time. Also, Charlotte Tilbury, can you freaking restock your freaking contour wand? I've been waiting. Also, I bought the Tom Ford palette. It's really good. Since Charlotte Tilbury never restocked, 
Look how gross that is though. I accidentally mixed it. I made a TikTok on it, but I haven't posted it yet. Yeah, so shh. On TikTok, I don't own this, but in real life, I own this. It's so hella expensive, but it's actually really good. So I'm gonna bring this too. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm trying to decide. Because here's the thing. I'm not ready to like dip into like a serious relationship right now. I also don't want to dip into a rebound. I'm just too sad. But I feel like that would help me to get over things. I Googled it. I Google everything. Google had mixed reviews. My best friend always makes fun of me. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like Google always has an answer. Like they're always telling me something. Like I use Google as like a therapist. I have a therapist, but I also use Google. I even Googled about this breakup. I was like, should we break up if X, Y, and Z? And then Google was like, yeah. So then I brought it up to him and I was like, hey, X, Y, and Z. And then he was like, I'm sharing too much. I'm gonna, I'm sharing too much. Oh, this is pretty. Maybe I'll use this. Basically, yeah, boys, I don't know. I am most excited at Coachella to see Doja Cat. I'm still a little bit upset because not mad at her, mad at the situation because she and SZA beat BTS at the Grammys, but that's not Doja's fault, so it's okay. And who else am I excited for? Oh, Harry Styles, of course. Especially because I was like a One Direction stan account growing up. Harry Styles is like one fifth of One Direction. So it's like, I'm kind of getting what I always wanted. I'm mainly excited though to go with my best friend. I think it's gonna be a really good experience and I think we're gonna have so much fun. We are done packing for Coachella. I guarantee forgot stuff. So am I worried about that? Yeah, you know I am. The next time I see you guys, I'll be at Coachella and I'll be posting a YouTube video for that as well. Make sure to enter the Coachella sweepstakes. I love you guys. Bye. Go into my Febreze hoodie. Stay fresh. And then hashtag it as well with hashtag YouTube Coachella. No. Hashtag YouTube Coachella sweepstakes with hashtag YouTube Coachella.